What you're watching is a cataract surgery in a patient with a history of retinopathy of prematurity, keratoconus, uh, who is now status post of penetrating keratoplasty, with a very short eye. He was noted to have phacodenesis on a previous surgery, and in an effort to make the surgery easier, we're going to use the fugal blade to cut the capsular axis. To improve visualization of the anterior capsule, we're using tripan blue and being very, very gentle with the amount of viscoelastic we place in the eye, as we don't want to over-deepen the chamber, worsening his zonular instability, and decreasing our chances of safely removing this uh, lens from the eye. What I'm doing is just carefully chasing out the air bubbles from the anterior chamber using the viscoelastic. Now what you'll see here with the fugal blade is a little bit of an unstable lens and as I begin to cut there at 12 o'clock you can actually see the wrinkles in the capsule which are definitely indicative of somebody with a zonular instability. I'm using the kissing C technique if you will where you start up at 12 o'clock and then rotate down towards your main incision and what's very important with the fugal blade especially when you're first beginning with it is that you go around your capsular rexus two or even three times to make sure you don't have any skip lesions. Here the fugal blade is set on a setting of medium with intensity of uh, four to five and here I do think I have a, a small skip lesion at about seven o'clock so we'll cut there a little bit more and now the anterior capsule is free. We'll carefully remove that with the utrata and we're left with a very nice anterior capsular rexus with causing minimal to no trauma on the zonules. This is a Chang cannula that we're using to gently hydro dissect. And I'll hydro dissect in three or four places until I see a good fluid wave. And there the lens prolapsed uh, forward. <clears throat> Trying to be as gentle as possible as we do some nuclear disassembly. I typically am a chop surgeon, but in this case I thought it was safer to use a divide and conquer technique. And once the lens fragments are freed up, they were removed with relative ease. What can be tricky when using a fugal blade is the aspiration of residual cortex. And I often will use a bimanual IA uh, to help with the removal. Many people will even reverse strip uh, the cortex. And here's where you'll see how small this eye is. This is a 28 diopter lens being injected. And as it unfolds, you'll see the optic of this lens takes up almost the entire capsular bag. With such a large capsular excess, you do need to be careful to make absolutely sure that both haptics are within or underneath the anterior rexus. It's very easy to have a haptic left uh, in the sulcus with such a large capsular rexus. And once again, very gentle aspiration of the viscoelastic at the end of the case. This lens is very stable in this bag. It's a beautiful surgery.